Hey y'all, I'm Mandy and this is Mandy in the making. Today we're gonna make three really easy recipes that are copycat versions of things on the Chipotle menu. So the things I'm making here today are not going to make up a meal, but they're going to pair well with what we're making for dinner tonight. Dinner tonight will be filmed as well, but it will be in Friday's video. So if you are new here, I do videos every Friday called Winter Dinners. It's basically showing you di three different dinners that we've had throughout the week that we love. Tonight's dinner is a subby supper and it pairs well with these things that I'm going to make for the copycat Chipotle recipes. So be sure to stop back by on Friday to see what we make to go along with these. The first thing I'm making today, I'm gonna make it first because it has to go in the fridge for about 30 minutes and it is the Chipotle corn salsa. So this recipe is only gonna take like 10 minutes. I just need to dice up this, chop the cilantro and dice up our jalapeno. We will squeeze juice out of this lemon and this lime. The recipe calls for white corn. My grocery store only had the white and golden corn mixed, so we're just gonna go with it. And then I've got a little bit of salt. That's it, y'all, let's do it. Okay, in this bowl, I'm gonna add my frozen corn that I have thawed. I'm also gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. Let's mix this together and just set it to the side. Now in this small bowl, we're gonna add our jalapeno, our onion, and our cilantro. I've got about a fourth a cup of each. And we're gonna add one tablespoon of lime juice and one tablespoon of lemon juice. Let's mix this really well, and then we're gonna combine it with our corn. Well, that was easy. Let's pop a lid on this and put it in the refrigerator until we're ready to eat. We want it to chill for at least 30 minutes. This next recipe that I'm gonna make uses a lot of the same ingredients that we just used. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it now. It is the copycat chipotle cilantro lime rice. Okay, I need one cup of jasmine rice. And two cups of water. Let's go put this on the stove. Okay, we're gonna bring two cups of water to a bowl. Okay, this has come up to a boil, so let's add in our cup of rice. I'm also gonna add in about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Let's go ahead and stir that around. And lastly, it calls for one bay leaf. My bay leaves are really small, so I'm gonna add two. We're gonna let that come back up to a boil, which it already is. Then we're gonna reduce the heat. We're gonna put the lid on it and let it simmer for 15 minutes. While that is cooking on the stove, let's go ahead and prep the rest of our ingredients, which is not a lot. We just need one tablespoon of finely chopped cilantro. We also need a couple of teaspoons of fresh lemon juice and a tablespoon of fresh lime juice. And the thing that shocked me the most was that you need a teaspoon of orange juice. All right, that's it. So we'll just wait on the rice to be done. I've got some olive oil here that we'll be adding as well. It's been 15 minutes. I'm gonna turn the eye off and I'm gonna leave it covered, but I'm gonna remove it from the heat and let it sit for another five minutes. Let's remove our bay leaves. And I'm just going to stir this to fluff it up. It seems like it's the perfect consistency. The recipe calls for one tablespoon of canola oil. I don't have any, so we're just gonna use olive oil. We're gonna add in our cilantro. Lastly, we're gonna add in our juices. I've got orange juice, lime juice, and lemon juice. That's it, y'all. It does not get any easier. Let's give this a taste. That is perfect. It's so good. It's not too strong in flavor. 
but you can taste the cilantro, you can taste the lemon juice, the lime juice, the orange juice, like it's, it's blended so well. Can't wait to have that with dinner tonight. It's gonna be a little while before we eat dinner. I'm gonna let it cool down and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge and we'll reheat it to go along with dinner. Our last recipe today is really easy. It is just a copycat version of the Chipotle guacamole. Just a few things to dice up here. We're gonna do some red onion. Now a little jalapeno. We're only gonna do one half of the jalapeno. All right, that's done. Now we just need to chop a little cilantro. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of lime juice. And my cilantro, my jalapeno, and my red onion. Lastly, I'm gonna add about a quarter teaspoon of salt and mix it all together. That's it. I had a lot of fun trying three new recipes from one of our favorite restaurants. So give me a thumbs up if this is something that you would like for me to continue. And don't forget to come back on Friday to see how we used this in that dinner. Here's a little sneak peek. Thanks y'all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.